Mitch and Homer, Mitch and Homer, where do you guys think LeBron should go? Go say Milwaukee. Milwaukee can play Brandon Jennings, Andrew Bogan, Kurt McGetty, perfect fit. If they had the money, I think it's always about finding a big. LeBron can do everything else. You think of Magic Johnson, he had Jabbar. So you always think you guys just find a big. George didn't need one, but aside from that, Every guy yeah, like LeBron or great players, when yeah, Kobe finds Shaq, can't do anything. Devin Wade found Shaq. Shaq. Kobe finds Gasol. Kobe's pretty good, I think. Yeah, he's just a little good. Yeah, he's pretty good, and yet he needs him. So I, I'm more interested now than I've ever been because it appears there are a couple options where he can go with Wade and how the network out or he can go to Chicago. Well, I mean, uh, is Bosch a big? Is Stoudemire a big? If he goes to Chicago, we know Joe Kim Noah's a big. Big, but well, is he a top five big, a top ten big? Who is he? Well, because they don't have that one guy, you're looking at two bigs now. Do you want... I like Noah only because he doesn't demand much attention. He'll do all the dirty work, so you can add... I think you could add Bosch or Stoudemire to him, and you probably got it cut. Yeah, I mean... I, we had one voter today say Boston, and I love, you know, Ray Allen's contract is over. If Pierce opts out, they could go sign a LeBron or a Dwayne Wade or Chris Bosch, bring him in to play with Pierce and KJ. Probably not going to happen, but there are other opportunities. The, the, one, the two teams nobody's talking about, though, are the Knicks and the Nets. And these are the two teams that have put all of the money out. Nobody, I mean, the Nets today basically sold each on love for $3 million. They have like two guys. Guys yeah, but nobody's talking about them because all of a sudden people think LeBron is committed to winning, and if he is, he'll go to Chicago or Miami or could stay in Cleveland, I guess. But he's not going to New York or New Jersey. If he wants to be in that metropolitan area, he's got to go to the Knicks. I thought he was. I hope that he goes to Miami because I want to see him play with Wade and see how it works out. If I was LeBron and I can take someone with me, I think I would go to Chicago. And I'll always say the dark horse, it won't happen, but Chuck told us a couple weeks ago, you go play with Perrin Davis, Eric Gordon, Chris Kamen, and Rookie of the Year, Blake Griffin. That's right, I'm calling it out. Blake Griffin will be Rookie of the Year. You put LeBron on that team, I think he had an instant contender for the Western Conference title. Even if you don't even exist in your own city, you can exist in the rest of the country. Yeah, and you go shopping Aldi's with Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, right. I'm going to go to the Clippers. I buy the cheap Oreos at Aldi's. I'm okay with that. The Aldios or whatever they're called. The 70% 70 70 cocoa chocolate. You can get it at Aldi's. Best price in town. All right, so where's the bar going? We'll all find out Thursday or later. But, but it's actually getting interesting. I was bored by it for a while, yeah. and now you're, you're getting, he's going to make a choice that's going to tell us about LeBron. I always thought he was an entertainer, but he might have been embarrassed, as you talked about, and want to tell the world that winning is important. Yeah, Chris Bosh, I'm not sold on at all. So. All right.